miles and miles and miles. I traveled the world and back so many times. With nothing on my back but a guitar and a smile. Chasing a dream only fools like me would follow. But I was born a soldier. Raising a war against all that said I told ya. I plant my feet on the ground and wear my heart on my shoulder. And I don't mind if I gotta start all over. I build myself again. this sort of track as a vanishing point. Uh, we're going to have our athletes sort of in the middle right there and we're going to do a very similar uh, setup as I did with the delirium shoot that's on YouTube. So we're going to have um, a beauty dish um, as a main light from above and then we're going to have two rim lights just to get the guys uh, familiar with a uh, bit of rim lighting and starting to use some bigger power. So um, we have definitely have enough power that we can key shift all this crappy forest and ambient lighting down. So. Um, basically, um, yeah, just getting them to play around with it, see how the first couple shots go. And we got here a little bit early so we can go over some of the gear and uh, sort of explain what we're doing here. Um, Honda 3000 watt EU generator. Uh, it's got a pure sine wave inverter so it gives us nice clean power. We use this all the time, it's awesome. This is his junior brother, little guy, 2000 watt. Good for powering laptops and charging batteries and that kind of stuff. Lots of sandbags, which is important. Uh, extension cords. <clears throat> These are counterweights for the booms. Uh, reflectors for the heads. Fan for our model. Uh, two beauty dishes. My MacBook Pro. Six uh, 2400 watt second heads. Pro photo. Uh, pocket wizards, transceivers, and receivers, and transmitters. Speed rings for the uh, Octobank. And softbox. These are batteries for the uh, the 7B pack. This is the 7A power pack, 2400 watt seconds, lots of control. Uh, this is the Profoto 7B2 pack. It's um, 1200 watt seconds each. And uh, what else we got? Just um, an assortment of light modifiers, soft boxes, octobanks, and some booms over here. Uh, you know, a jet airplane that we threw in just for fun. Hi there, my name is Leighton Bain. This is the photographer. He's been living life through a broken lens. She's been sitting sweet. In a brand new summer dress He's been getting tired Of all these pretty girls And by the time that Real gets developed She's gone Poor lonely Photographer They see the better side of life Oh, 
other side. Uh, I'm thinking that the, it's really good that my wife's cool because like most people brought home shots like this. I'm like, hey, sweetie, check out these uh, hot chicks I shot all day. Wouldn't go over so well. He's a little tired of getting in the way. He's been ducking down, ducking out on your special day. She's been making love to the camera lens. And by the time that film gets developed, she'll be gone. Poor lonely photographer. Pay to see the better sides of life. Yeah, I'm Sal Cos, three star seed. How you making? And I'm Mike. You deserve to be on, on the other side. One of the main things I was sort of trying to work on today was um, really instilling people that image quality uh, or image capture is of utmost importance. You know, before you start any post work or even consider any post work, you really want to make sure that you've got a great, uh, a great image in your camera. You know, so basically that your uh, histogram is healthy and that your blinking highlights are under control, and um, also sort of really instilling in, in them that you don't you don't ever really want to trust your LCD for exposure. The only thing you want to use your LCD for are things like uh, checking your composition, checking ratios between lights, that kind of thing. Um, so there was people here that came that um, had never even sort of used their histogram on their cameras. So uh, now they're all checking it and uh, that makes me very happy because it makes photography a lot more fun and easy and that's what it's all about. Poor lonely photographer Paid to see the better sides of life